Hi students, uh, in this video I am going to explain how this hydro power plant works. So this is also called as this hydraulic turbine. So where we make use of this uh, water energy, the hydraulic uh, power, so we make use of it to produce the energy. Okay, so for this uh, before going into deep, the working principle of it, we will see the construction details of that. So this is the layout of hydroelectric power plant. So for this we need to uh, construct a dam on top of it so where water is collected so that is nothing but reservoir uh, from the dam uh, there is a pen stock so which is uh, uh, one end is connected to the dam and another end is connected to the turbine okay so in this there will be a gate and there is a pressure tunnel and there is a surge tank and uh, so that is connected to this uh, turbine and which is having an inlet valve and then turbine so there will be electric generator so from that electric generator there is a transformer and then power lines and then electric cables so the other another side we can see a draft tube which is immersed into the tail rays so the where is the water is the leftovers are there so that is nothing but tail rays so this is the construction details now we are going to see how this hydro power plant works so once the construction is very difficult for this hydro power plant once the construction is over to get this energy out of it, it is very simple it is very easy and there is no skilled labor is required okay once the dam is constructed so because of the due to this rainfall so water is collected and then so that in the reservoir so there will be potential energy available okay so whenever that uh, um, we if, when we take the get the energy out of it so we open up the gate valve uh, so through from the dam so through pen stock so water starts flowing and we open up the gate so water starts flowing through the pen stock and if you want to find out the pressure if there is any change in the pressure if you want to change the pressure or if you want to check how much pressure is developed so we can uh, check with the help of this pressure tunnel and then there is a surge tank and through pen stock water starts flowing through inlet valve so when you open up the inlet valve so water enters into the turbine so as we all know the turbine has got some uh, what you call blades uh, so rotors so when water comes and hits the turbine blade so ro entire rotor rotates and there will be a shaft that shaft is connected to the electrical generator so the electrical energy uh, generator so it will have that magnetic material where there is uh, some coils are wound around it and then so whenever it rotates so there will be emf is induced it cuts the magnetic flux and emf is induced and then that uh, elect uh, uh, electrical energy is generated so that energy is converted into transformers and from there it, uh, the, through the electric cables it will go to the um, power lines so through the uh, what do you call power uh, power so the remaining water after hitting the turbine blades will come uh, come through the uh, what you call draft tube so to the tail race so this is how that electricity is generated with the help of this water so that is why it is called as a hydro power plant the one more name is hydro uh, hydraulic power plant or hydraulic uh, turbines or turbine hydraulic power power plants so this is how we uh, convert the potential energy into kinetic energy and then so we get the energy uh, out of it so this is the example for uh, this uh, no, uh, renewable energy we can use it reuse it again and again so without any uh, inter uh, intermission and then so so we will see that the working principle of it so how that electric power plants so work so in a hydropower plant the potential energy of the water is due to its high location it is converted into electrical energy okay guys uh, the thing is like so this hydropower plant we, we we should start writing this hydropower plant with the uh, with the principle the principle of this hydropower plant is to convert um, hydraulic energy into mechanical energy and then from mechanical energy into electrical energy Hydraulic energy is nothing but uh, the conversion of potential energy to kinetic energy. So there is nothing but hydraulic energy and then it will be converted into mechanical energy. Mechanical in the sense that the shaft is rotating and turbine blades are rotating. So that is nothing but mechanical energy and from that mechanical energy it is converted into electrical energy. So this is the principle of this hydro power plant. This is how we have to write, start writing for hydro power plant. And then 
so we'll move on to this uh, non renewable energies where which is not, we cannot reuse it again and again once if it is used so that is over so that kind of energies are called as non renewable energies for example nuclear power nuclear energy is the energy that holds the nucleus of an atom if you look at it so nuclear power is enormous amount of energy is uh, stored in one particular place that is nothing but a nuclear energy it's a very uh, uh, what do you call harmful for human beings if it is not handled properly okay so that kind of uh, energy is nothing but nuclear power so this is used for uh, generating electricity and coming to this classifications this nuclear power can be classified into two different types one is nuclear fission and the next one is nuclear fusion so nuclear fission is nothing but a splitting of nucleus into two nuclei with the smaller masses that is nothing but nuclear fission fission means to divide okay that is the meaning of fission and the next one is nuclear fusion uh, okay in the fission itself so uranium 235 atoms are taken and then so neutrons are sent to hit the uh, uranium 235 after a bombardment so what happens there will be uh, what you call small small pieces uh, and again it will collide into each other there will be bombardment take means there will be small amount of energy will be emitted so energy will be emitted so that is nothing but nuclear fusion so nuclear fusion is nothing but a combining combining of two nuclei atom with low masses to form one nuclei of larger masses so that is nothing but nuclear uh, fusion nuclear fusion reactions are also called thermonuclear reactions so this is nothing but nuclear fusion the difference between nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion uh, fusion means um, splitting of um, nucleus into two nuclei and then um, so then whenever it bombardment takes place it emits uh, um, heat energy or light energy that is nothing but nuclear fusion nuclear fusion combining of this electrons is nothing but nuclear fusions now coming to this bio uh, biofuels biomass so so how how to so how to you know produce this biomass is like uh, so taking the living organisms and dead animals so that are the plants so those materials are immersed into the earth and uh, in the absence of uh, sunlight and um, oxygen so decomposition takes place after decomposition so there will there will be some sort of you know gases will be produced so those kind of uh, gases will be taken out and then uh, so they distill it and then produce this biofuel so this biomass may be transferred by physical chemical and biological process to biofuels in chemical forms biomass is stored solar energy and can be converted into solid liquid and gaseous energy uh, carries biomass is biological or organic material derived so this is nothing but this biofuels biofuels is nothing but uh, so biological ma matters uh, so uh, from all the waste particles so we'll dump into one particular uh, place and uh, will not should not allow this sunlight or oxygen to enter so the after decomposition so whatever the gas which is produces uh, that is nothing but uh, biofuels so with the help of that biofuels are uh, produced okay this is how uh, the na um, renewable energy non renewable energy resources are formed so thank you so much for watching this video